in the factory's kitchen, chef Manisha Baradrach is giving me the lowdown on getting rice right. Okay, so first things first, mm -hmm. let's see how you make rice at home. Well, I make it brilliantly because it's different every time, so you never really know what you're going to get. Come on, show me how you do it. That's two people. Probably. Water, slushy slush. How long do you think it'll take to cook? I tap it to see if it's ready. So it's starting to get soft now. Okay, and you know that because you've been tapping it. Because of the tap tap. The tap tap. Tap tap. <laughs> Can I interest you in a slice of rice, Manisha? Thank you. I've never had one before. How is it raw and mushy? at the same time. I mean, it's slightly... Inedible? I've given this to people for supper. And they've never come back. <laughs> Monisha has four foolproof rules to ensure I never mess up my rice again. So I'm making rice by the absorption method. The absorption method. Mm -hmm. One measure of rice and double the amount of water by volume. That's crucial. Measuring out rice and water in this one to two ratio is rule number one. So let's start off by washing the rice because it's still got a little bit of loose starch. The second rule is to rinse because any starch left on the grains will make them clog together. Give it a good rinse till the water runs clear. Rule three, use the right pan. You want to choose a pan that is heavy bottomed uh -huh. and has a tight fitting lid. Why is that important? Because you want to lock the steam in. That's what's going to cook the rice. The rice is going to absorb all the liquid that you put in here, so you don't want any of the steam to escape. Tip it all into the pan and turn up the heat. OK, so the rice has come up to the boil. I'll okay. just give it a little stir. I'll turn the heat right down and wow. put this lid on. The final rule is, leave it alone. You don't want to lift the lid, you don't want to peek, you just leave it and let it do its thing. It's very low maintenance, this method. It is. After 10 minutes, turn off the heat and let it stand for another five minutes, <gasps> then serve. It's not porridge! <laughs> Every grain is separate, it's all fluffed up. It tastes nutty and sweet and lovely. Because it's got the aroma, it's got the taste, and it's also got texture. 